Today, we're going to talk about personal branding. Every single one of you out there has a personal brand, and I bet you're interested in seeing what other people see in you. If that's you, stay tuned. You know, I started speaking in 2000. It was just around the time that a guy named Tom Peters had written a book called A Brand Called You. Now, I had come from a very, very branded business. I was a retailer. Uh, our brand was important. We carried lines whose brands were important, like Ralph Lauren. And we had really to honor those brands. So I came into the speaking world knowing a lot about branding. Uh, when I first started speaking, I thought I would talk on personal branding because Tom Peters had just written this book that I said, A Brand Called You. And it was cool because it was about each of us having a brand. So besides products and services, you and I and everyone in this world has a brand. And he talked about it and he said, we are in charge of our own company called Me Inc., so I got excited about it and that's really what I wanted to speak on because I took the learning from my business and brought it into my keynote. But I was way ahead of my time. People did not really care about branding. In fact, when they heard I was from Texas, they thought I was gonna hurt them with branding. So guess what? Today, branding is important because we want to know the authentic you, authenticity rules. So what I thought I would do is start off with, with what I learned from Tom Peters today and give you a primer, an opening into branding. Because what we learn right off the bat is branding isn't what you think you are, it's what other people think you are. So I'm gonna give you five questions today, five questions that you need to write down and I'll put them, I'll put them in the chat five questions that you need to be asking people. And you know what? It's a perfect time. A lot of us are working from home. We've got time on our hands. We're finding that relationships are growing much more right now than ever before. Call a few people and ask them these questions. Tell them that you've been with a branding coach and that the coach told you to do this, okay? So question number one, what three words best describe my personality? You want to know how people see you and how they see that personality because what we learn right off the bat is brands have personality. And today, more than ever, brands come alive with personality. Question number two, if you didn't know what I did for a living, what would you say? What would you guess that I do? So when people look at you, they make assumptions. We want to know what if they didn't know what you did for a living, what would they guess that you do? That's a great one. Question number three, what do you see as my greatest strengths? We want to be able to be living our strengths every day. We want people to see them. So we want to know, do you see my strengths? And here's what's interesting. If they're not writing down what you believe your strengths are, you have to think about your behaviors and are you exhibiting those strengths? The next one is, what career can you definitely not see me in? This is great because people make assumptions. They look at you. They want their doctors to look like doctors, right? They want you. We want you to look like who you say you are. So we want to know what career people definitely don't see you in. And the last question is really important. How would you describe me to someone who's never met me? My name is Karen McCullough. Hey, guys, I'd love you to meet Karen McCullough. She's so what? We need to know what people are saying about us. This is step one in branding, finding out what people see in you and then looking at who you are and seeing if it matches and maybe where you have to reboot your brand. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this one. It's Karen McCullough talking about branding. <laughs>